who are not in the class. So one more time, this is the textbook. Just for those who uh, are not in the class, uh, let me just briefly explain again because I forgot to record. So this is the textbook by Parkin, and uh, we will be able we will go through the economics course, um, which is basically the um, theories and whatever concepts that deals with business in our life. So it's very dominant in our life and it helps a lot to understand economics and how it works. So basically it's very useful. Then um, we will try to cover all these different uh, concepts of economics, the market prices, <coughs> consumption, supply, demand, all those factors that are very, very uh, highlighted in economics. Okay, you can find this book on uh, bookstores and also Amazon or uh, all those websites that they, they sell the books. So it's, it's a very uh, common book, so it shouldn't be a problem. As long as you go to a bookstore, you'll be able to find it. So then the course objective is uh, the ability to understand and apply those concepts, especially supply, demand, equilibrium, and factors that shift supply and demand and analyze the behavior of the market when the conditions change. Don't panic if you don't know these jargons and these names seem like uh, bizarre and odd or unknown to you. That's great. That's, uh, that's good. That's the challenge that we want to go through. We want to learn all these uh, factors, and um, so it is great if you don't know them. Analyze the impacts of restricting markets from reaching the competitive equilibrium through price control, taxes, or subsidies. So there are different tools that uh, we use to impact or restrict markets. So some of them are, are these, and we will try to understand the difference between monopoly and competitive markets and understand the nature of production in modern economy and be able to identify the profit, maximizing the price and the relationship between the prices uh, or types of costs. Uh, so all these factors uh, will be considered and uh, the students, I would like you to be able to uh, get some understanding of power of economic reasoning and what what's happening right now to, to grasp a better understanding and of what's going on like when we say it's financial crisis when we say it's uh, like economy is down what do we mean and as an economist what we should look at because as a common people uh, people have some understanding when inflation is high when the prices go up they say economy is bad but as an ec economist, we need to be able to understand and analyze it in a better perspective and in a in a more detailed and uh, uh, you know in a very more clarified vision rather than just saying that the economy is bad or why is that. We need to understand the life cycles uh, of the economy and understand why something goes wrong, why something goes. Uh, right, and how can we manipulate or change the situation and the condition? So, supply and demand, cost and benefits, and their multiple applications. Because as an economist, we will learn and understand that there is nothing like a bad economy. We always, we are always adjusting. This uh, economy is always adjusting. So it's not that we say, okay, uh, now economy is bad, now is good. It's not that the economy is bad. The economy is adjusting towards the mistakes that have been done or some overpriced or over-demanded or oversupplied uh, products or services. So, so we, will, we will discuss that in detail and understand how it works and the role of money in economy uh, and uh, inflation, like what is the role of inflation and importance of free trade, Limit of, uh, limits of regulation, taxes and subsidies, how they work, and uh, interest, profits, salaries, all these, and how how modern business firms and its functionals and boundaries work in achievements in the American economy system 
or any other economic system. And then the scoring is uh, pretty much the same as your um, uh, leadership, which is 10% class participation, 10% uh, tasks, 40% individual, and 40% group assignments. So that's what we will be doing in the course. Uh, first, uh, is there any questions? Any comments, any questions? Are you all hearing me? Okay, so do you have any questions, any any comments, any anything you want to talk about? Can you get the ebook? Yes, you can. Of course, yeah. Those books that uh, they're they're sold on Amazon, they sell them. The, they sell the ebooks also. So definitely, you can buy an ebook for sure, and you can have it on your uh, iPhone or Kindle. And uh, yeah, for sure, you can just uh, look it up, and you can probably get help from admin. They will help you to find a book, and uh, you know, probably. Uh, buy the book if you want but it's uh you can just google it and then find it on amazon for sure um uh, so definitely you can buy it okay no question Okay, I'll, I'll talk to the admin about that concept that maybe they can buy the book and distribute it to you or send it to you. You can buy it through them probably if you want. That's a, that's some idea, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll let them know. Uh, it's, uh, it's available on Amazon as far as I know or bookstores. Check, check the bookstores, uh, and see if they have that book. Um, otherwise, uh, they'll, You'll find something out, and we'll try to um, to see what we can do. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Very good. So that is great. Uh, I also want to show you another movie uh, here too. Let's see. Yeah, uh, the economics is one of my favorite topics. It's uh, it's basically very amazing, uh, and because the good thing about economics. This is the book, yes, Foundation of Economics. This is uh, the name of the book, Foundations of the Economics, and these are the writers of the book. So, uh, yeah, economics, the good thing about economics is that it's uh, every day's life we are dealing with. Uh, I don't know why my voice is low, because... Uh, I don't know what to do. Mm. Okay, so I was saying that uh, economics is interesting. Is uh, it, it deals with everyday life. So basically, we are studying the business aspect of life. So it's like a scientific study of the business that we are dealing with everyday life. So that's why it's so interesting because whatever we do every day is part of economics or is, some, is somehow related to economics. So understanding it will help us a lot in bettering our business affairs or or our, our life status, you know. So uh, it is a very, very interesting topic. It's one of the best courses. And uh, the book that we are going to, uh, use is <laughs> also a very interesting book, and the writer Michael Parkin is 
is one of the best uh, economists, and we will we'll have some interesting topics to talk about. Uh, both uh, courses, uh, business economics and leadership, are very very exciting and very very uh, turbulent, dealing with changes all the time and uh, the requirements that we are facing every day in our careers. We definitely need need leadership and of course economics. So these two courses are very interesting and they're going to be uh, exciting. So let's just show you a video. Okay. Okay. I tell people I'm an economist. They usually either ask when the economy is going. economy is going to turn around or what stocks they should invest in. Unfortunately, these people are almost always disappointed when I inform them that I can't reliably answer such questions because my crystal ball is in the shop. While forecasting and financial analysis may be on the periphery of what economists do, they're not really central to the field. Instead, economics is on a fundamental level the study of scarcity. Human desires are unlimited, but resources aren't, and every society tries to figure out how to allocate its resources for maximum benefit. The field of economics attempts in large part to help understand these resource allocation decisions. For example, why are a lot of resources put towards making computers and not so many towards making argyle dog sweaters? Why are these argyle dog sweaters made mostly by machines and not by people? Why are some people able to afford our dollars off sweaters while others struggle to purchase basic necessities? Economists are well equipped to shed light on these issues. As we will see, resources are allocated largely according to the forces of supply and demand. And prices serve as incentives to determine how much of a product companies want to produce and how much people want to buy. In this way, economics can also be thought of as a study of incentives or the study of business and household decision making. In general, economists study questions such as how are prices and quantities of items determined in a market economy? How much value do different markets create for society? How do taxes and regulation affect the value that markets create? Why are some goods and services over or under supplied in a market economy? How do firms compete and maximize profits? How do households decide what to consume, how much to save, and how much to work? So uh, since you guys are not viewing what I was trying to show you, To apply for your Black Card Visa card now, visit blackcard.com or call 866-BLACK-CARD. Can you guys see right now? 
When I help people, I'm an economist. They usually either ask when the economy is going to turn around or what stocks they should invest in. Unfortunately, these people are almost always disappointed when I inform them that I can't reliably answer such questions because my crystal ball is in the shop. While forecasting and financial analysis may be on the periphery of what economists do, they're not really essential to the field. Instead, economics is, on a fundamental level, the study of scarcity. Human desires are unlimited, but resources aren't, and every society tries to figure out how to allocate its resources for maximum benefit. The field of economics attempts in large part To apply to your Black Card Visa card now, visit blackcard.com or call 866-BLACK-CARD. So you should be able to view right now. When I tell people I'm an economist, they usually either ask when the economy is going to turn around or what stocks they should invest in. Unfortunately, these people are almost always disappointed when I inform them that I can't reliably answer such questions because my crystal ball such questions because my crystal ball is in the shop. While forecasting and financial analysis may be on the periphery of what economists do, they're not really essential to the field. Instead, economics is on a fundamental level the study of scarcity. Human desires are unlimited, but resources aren't, and every society tries to figure out how to allocate its resources for maximum benefit. The field of economics attempts in large part to help understand these resource allocation decisions. For example, why are a lot of resources put towards making computers and not so many towards making argyle dog splitters? Why are these argyle dog splitters made mostly by machines and not by people? Why are some people able to afford argyle dog splitters while others struggle to purchase basic necessities? Economists are well equipped to shed light on these issues. As we will see, resources are allocated largely according to the forces of supply and demand, and prices serve as incentives to determine how much of a product companies want to produce and how much people want to buy. In this way, economics can also be thought of as a study of incentives or the study of business and household decision making. In general, economists study questions such as how are prices and quantities of items determined in a market economy? How much value do different markets create for society? How do taxes and regulation affect the value that markets create? Why are some goods and services over or under supplied in a market economy? How do firms compete and maximize profits? How do households decide what to consume, how much to save, and how much to work? Why do some economies grow faster than others? What effects do monetary and fiscal policy have on the economy? How are interest rates determined? Economists study more questions than just these, of course, but all of the questions share the common theme of understanding production and consumption decisions. In order to investigate these questions, Economists develop models to give a simplified view of how the world works, much in the same way that other scientists develop models of gravitational forces or heat transfer or hydrogen bombs. Advanced economic analysis takes away some of these simplifying assumptions present in basic models, but even the basic models that you will learn in an introductory course give useful qualitative and quantitative insight into economic issues. Okay. So, option 
So were you guys uh, able to uh, view? Any of you? Any of you could see that? Okay, what I will do, I will also share this one to the Facebook page so that you can, you can see. Oh, Mr. So, Mr. Safi, you were able to see? You were able to view Mr. Akmal and Mr. Safi? Okay, so some of you are able to see. So those of you who are not able to see, that uh, probably uh, okay. I don't know because uh, for, you should be able to see that because I was sharing it. Yeah, not now, but then. Uh, should be able to see that. So probably there's something wrong with your uh, system or the way you're trying to view it because your classmates have seen it. So I would guess that uh, there should be a problem. So <coughs> as the clip was explaining, uh, uh, by economics we are just focusing on how we, it's like theories on how we do the uh, production or consumption and how they relate to each other. So. Basically, it's a very interesting course. Uh, we're going to uh, start the class like officially uh, next week. Uh, okay, uh, let me uh, add the voice. Okay, uh, so uh, yes, uh, I hope now it's better. As you were uh, hearing uh, during the clip, it was t telling us how uh, consumption and production are related to each other, and basically we are going to study that and the, the theories that have been put into place and how we can understand how they relate to each other, like demand, supply, and all those uh, tools that help us understand the market better. So it's a very interesting course. So we will start the classes next session. And uh, today it was just the introduction and uh, telling you what uh, you're going you're going to go through through this uh, semester and uh, like what what is to be expected of you as a student. And um, basically that will be all. Uh, I will have the admin send you the syllabus for the, these two. Uh, I asked them to send it today. Uh, first, is there any questions, comments? Uh, any comments or questions? Okay, awesome. Yes, absolutely. As I said, I will ask the admin to send it to all of you. I'll email them and ask them to send it to you as soon as possible. And uh, I'll put this uh, clip on the Facebook also, the, the page, so you can <coughs> look at it. It's a, it's a very good introduction. <coughs> and um, if you don't have any questions, we can just... Uh, uh, finish the class now, and uh, I'll see you all next week, and we will start uh, the actual class next week. Okay. You post it on Facebook. And sure, I will. I will do that for sure. Yes, it was the introduction. Uh, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much for coming to the class. Uh, 
I'll see you next week, and I hope by next week you will have the the book ready, uh, and uh, we'll start from there. Thank you.